What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. This is Chris with Mods and Coffee. We are in a 2020 Outback XT that's been lifted two inches. It is on a ready lift. It's got the all-terrain tires and method race wheels. We also got a worn winch bumper combo in the front, and we've got a roof rack. Um, it's pretty awesome, this setup. We just had the vehicle aligned. I'm gonna take it out for a spin and show you how everything works out. What I wanted to show you too is kind of how this front camera looks. Worn bumper, you'll see it kind of just covers some of it right here. It's not too bad. You can still see out while you're driving. But yeah, let's take this bad boy out for a spin and see how it drives on the street. Oh, so right off the bat, this is, is feeling very Nimbus-like. It's very cloud-like, just like kind of like the lifted ascent that we drove recently. All right, let's check this bad boy out. Get on it. All right, so acceleration still feels awesome. A little bit more wind noise up top with that Thule roof rack. Vehicle still seems to be tracking true. Feel this out. Kind of get in some turns. Oh, instantly I can already feel the wider track width. Oh, yeah. <laughs> wow. That is a lot different than stock. This thing feels like a Grand Cherokee right now. It's sitting so high. So vehicle dynamic control off. Not sure that's gonna really do anything. Oh, bad boy. And then get on it. So far, the acceleration dynamics and everything on road appear the same, but it's a lot smoother. Lane departure, everything feels the same. Really, though, these turns, this the vehicle does feel less planted I would say and I think it's just the tires they're not as grippy as the OEM tires even though I know the track width is now wider but I can hear the tires kind of <laughs> kind of burning a little bit and it's super smooth you guys it, it feels it feels awesome on road So keep in mind the ready lift is just a spacer lift kit. So for the most part, we're retaining all the factory handling specs as far as, you know, compression of the shocks and everything like that. We're not changing spring rates or anything like that. You know, the vehicle feels raked. It's cool. And then when you accelerate, everyone knows the XT models with the turbo. They like to squat. It's cool. I dig it. Kind of reminds me of like a pre-runner truck. Almost feels like in I'm in, you know, a Baja lifted truck. All right, I'm gonna kind of mess around a little more with cruise control. So I got it set. So overall, the car feels more or less stock. The wider, wider offset of the wheels is something that still is a little 
it's different. It takes getting used to. It does not feel as connected because it's wider. The track width is just, you know, out there a little more. It feels a little more, I don't know. It's not, not this, not the same as stock. If you guys want to retain that factory handling, stay with the OEM wheels and just put bigger tires on them. But if you're trying to get more of this, you know, like a wider look, more of an off-road look, the method wheels, like they look amazing. They are going to feel different. Just keep that in mind. So if you guys are interested in picking up, you know, a ready lift, I recommend it if you want that look for your ride and you want to get a little more capability and then just a bit more ground clearance out of the, you know, out of the Outback, then go ahead, go for it, pick one up. I think it's worth it if that's what you're into. If you're trying to just retain everything uh, safety wise and, you know, OEM handling, all that kind of stuff, just try the lift with factory wheels. That's just my first recommendation. And yeah, guys, I, <laughs> that's really all I have for you today. I hope you enjoy this content. It's super quick and, you know, to the point, just wanted to get some on-road characteristics with the lift kit and the off-road tires. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Please subscribe to the channel, like this video, drop a comment down below, and hit the bell notification so you get notified when my new videos come out. And I'll catch you guys next week. Peace out.